Our next guest is an Emmy-nominated actress, comedian, writer, and producer. The third season of her critically acclaimed show, A Black Lady Sketch Show, premieres April 8th on HBO and HBO Max. Let's take a look. Our next comedian has never been on Comedy Central or Comic View. Why would you write that down? I, okay, I give it up for Keisha. Y'all look gooder than a Honda with all this hubcaps. <laughs> you got a car, man? You rich? Oh, what else? What else? You know, I'm just working out some material. Let's see what we got. Oh, man, hey, guess what? I like my men like I like my coffee. Instant. <laughs> Hurry up, sir. Please welcome back to the show our friend Robin Thede, everyone. <laughs> Very exciting to have a third season of your show. Listen, you ain't never lied to having a third season of anything, Charlie. I know, in this day and age. In this day and age. Season three, with, don't mind if don't, you do. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Uh, so Keisha, the stand-up comedian oh, there, this boy. seems like a well-observed uh, uh, yeah. take on a kind of stand-up that maybe nobody is ever happy to see. Yeah, no, <laughs> I love it. You know, I started out, you know this, but I started out writing for comedians, right? Yeah. So in my early days, I was writing for Kevin Hart and Anthony Anderson, all these amazing comedians. So I was in the clubs all the time, and I would see her, you know, in various iterations, male, female, whatever, and she would just, you know, actually, you know, if you don't, I'll just do yeah. a little now. <laughs> um, Hey! No, don't clap. Don't clap. She's terrible. She's terrible. How y'all doing? Hey, what's your sweater? Sad? Because it's blue. <laughs> what else? The speed. This is the person. This is the person that would... She, I don't know why I'm using this. She would... But the person would yell, like, the, the key to their comedy was just yelling the explanation of the joke. Yep. So it's like, your sweater's blue because it's sad. <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad, get it? It's like, that person, <laughs> that person, the more you yell the explanation of the joke, it doesn't help. It seems like a lot of the characters on this show must be people that you have observed yeah. in real life. Is yeah. that something you're always, do you feel like you have a good radar for who might be character <laughs> inspiration? Well, I definitely steal it from any and everyone I can, that's for sure. I mean, I, I am watching people constantly, like a creeper, and listening to them all the time, but it has gotten me in trouble. You have gotten sure. caught creeping? Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so I was at the car wash, and a guy, a guy walks past me, and I have my head down. I'm my phone and I hear him go, you are so beautiful. And I look up and I go, thank you. And he goes, I'm on the phone. <laughs> I'm on the phone. Um, so, you know, that wasn't even me observing characters. Yeah, that was, that was just, just like, that was just eavesdropping. Absorbing compliments that yeah. weren't mine. You have uh, so many great guest stars. Yes. You have in the first couple seasons, but more oh than God. ever. A nice mix of like comedy guest stars that I'm assuming you yeah. show up, you know exactly where you're going to get. And yeah. then a lot of dramatic actors as well. Is it do you get a little nervous not knowing how funny they're gonna be until they show up on set? You know what's crazy? So this season, we have over 40 celebrity guest stars. You guys are going to love it. That is we amazing. Have, it's crazy, in six episodes. It's All crazy, right. it's so What's sad. your bar, though, for famous? So, like, okay, is it... Wanda Sykes, Okay, Hello. that's very really famous. Um, all right, David Allen Greer, Tommy right. Davidson. Very impressive. Like, all these amazing people. But then we have these drama actors also, like Vanessa Williams, Lance Reddick, Michaela J. Rodriguez from Pose. We have I mean, so many, uh, Michael Ely, so many amazing, amazing dramatic actors actors and you would think when they get on set they would be like what is my motivation <laughs> but they're not they're the goofiest ones they Lance Reddick so happy oh my god he was just like please just give me more jokes like <laughs> they love it yeah well I it. must be so liberating compared to yeah. you know be especially when you know somebody like Lance Reddick who's you know oftentimes doing really dark material it yeah it's so fun to this get isn't out and the get wire yeah, yeah you're good can finally yeah yeah you can let loose a little <laughs> bit and the, the funny thing is you know so we'll do the script as written right mm -hmm. our Emmy <laughs> Emmy nominated writers <laughs> yeah, of um, course. but they you have to do it as yeah, written. Yeah, yeah yeah you have to do it as written because they're very sensitive and by they I mean me and so <laughs> we do it we do it as scripted but then we're like, okay, rip up the script, now do whatever you want. And they just kind of look at you like a deer in the headlights and they're like, 
what do you mean whatever I want? We're like, just say any words. It's fine. You know the story. And they're, they're the best at it, actually. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I imagine because you have been so successful getting people to do your show that now people pitch to you all the time, other people you should go out and ask. They do. They do. Uh, which sometimes works, you know, if yeah. the person is someone that I feel like we can get. But, you know, my mom is constantly pitching, why don't you have Beyonce on the show? <laughs> It's a Where's good idea. Other? One of my other friends is like, Janet Jackson, just get Janet Jackson. I'm like, how? Why don't you listen to these good ideas? <laughs> listen, Janet Jackson, Beyonce, Blue Ivy, <laughs> Sir, Rumi, any of you, please come on the show. I have um, terrible they, news. They don't want to. I know, they don't. They definitely don't. <laughs> Some of them are way too young to be. I watching. didn't know about this. What? Uh, that I, I read this, that you were named after Robin Williams. I was. So that says to me that uh, comedy must have been an important part of your upbringing. Your parents obviously valued it. If yeah. they named you after Robin Williams, that must have been a really cool thing. Or I look very different now than I did as a baby. Yeah, if I true. resembled him, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. You my... were born in suspenders. <laughs> I was. I was. <laughs> Oh my God, I think they were just watching Mork and Mindy when I was born, yeah. I don't know. But I think, yeah, it was like a real bonding time for my dad and I. We would watch SNL mm -hmm. right up until Weekend Update, because that was, you know, I was like five. Yeah. And so it was like, all right, you gotta go to bed at that time. <laughs> but um, but yeah, he loved Robin Williams. He was such a massive, I mean, who isn't? Yeah, but, of course. Um, but he loved him with, with such unbridled, you know, So passion. as a kid then, did that give you, were you sort of, I don't know, encouraged to do sketch comedy? Did they like watching you? Uh, they definitely goof did around? not encourage it. You oh, know, yeah. like I would be watching the local news and the, and the news anchor would say, Tonight, our top story. And I would go, Tonight, our top story. <laughs> and they're like, What is she doing? <laughs> and then they would laugh. And I'm like, Oh, wait, I'm getting laughs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so, yeah, I, I would start takes. mimicking everything I saw on TV. Well, it paid off. Uh, they have a lot to be proud of. Congratulations again. Thank you. Three seasons. Yeah. I hear it's the best one yet. Congratulations, <laughs> Robin Feeney. Third season of a Black Lady Sketch Show premieres April 8th on yeah. HBO and HBO Max.